Let's go back to the time we a nigga used to trip. By the time we spent, girl, when we were just friends, it was all friendly on my end. Even though I look forward to seeing you again. Hey guys, it's me, P, and welcome back to my channel. So today, as promised, I'm showing you how to install a PNG wig. But first things first, you need to ensure that you've purchased a bold head. This is so that you have a clean slate to start with and there's no obstructions in the way of installing this PNG wig. So once that's out of the way and you've decided on your outfit, your pose and your location, you want to take that picture into Ibis Paint and you want to press this camera icon right here which is to import from library. So once you have your desired wig you want to move it around to fit the size of your head so i have linked a free wig in the description box under this video it's a wig i've made a while ago if you want to follow along with this video and i know how it is not a lot of people have money to buy these png wigs so if you want to practice it's not the best wig but you can you want to get a new layer by pressing the plus sign and select the brush tool make the brush small and use the eyedropper brush by holding down in the area you want to select the color and just draw in some little streaks to cover up the gaps in where the wig didn't fit the scale of my head. Make sure that you're continuously zooming in and out so you can see up close and how it looks further out. As you can see right here, the line in my jaw is overlapping on my chin. So I'm going back in with the brush, um, sorry, the eraser brush and I'm just removing some of the harsh lines. So it looks more seamless once that's done we want to make sure that the wig suits our face shape we're going to press this button here which is going to take us into this panel we're going to press mesh form and we're going to move the dimensions up this is so we can get into the details of the hair so it's not moving everything doing this step is optional but when it comes to my curly wigs i like them to look fuller especially around my shoulder area so i just stretch it out okay so for the next step do you remember the excess forehead or the excess bold head at the top so this is how you remove it you want to select a new layer and drag that new layer below the wig layer and you want to select the color that's closest to the wall shade and you want to just draw straight over that don't go too far into your wig because you might see it underneath but this should resolve that another thing to take into consideration is to try to not pick a busy background this is what happens when you pick a busy background you have to do a lot more detail work a lot more correction just so it looks seamless so you have to pick more than one shade do a lot more things just so it makes it look like it was a part of the original wall but obviously once you get better at it you can start to learn to just keep going at it but i would highly recommend especially if you're a beginner to just pick a simple background and call it a day so already as you can see it's already looking like it's a part of the wall what you want to do to make it a bit more seamless is select the smudge tool and just smudge the harsh lines out so it looks more seamless now you want to select another layer and you want to select the color of the line just here this is optional because obviously you won't have the same wall as me but i'm showing you this because there is a ruler tool to give you straight exact lines because the wig is covering up my hand i'm going to use the eraser tool to remove this so you're going to select the wig layer and turn the opacity down to whatever just so that you can see through it and you're going to erase around wherever the wig is covering up your hand and you want to be careful with this because you might have to go back and forth with the opacities to see if you're going into areas you don't want to erase and you're gonna have to go back in with the colors and the brush to fix that so just be very careful keep going back and forth with the opacity to see your progress and you should be fine and once you're done with that don't forget to turn the opacity back up to 100 percent and have a look if there's any gaps near your hand select the colors that are closest to your hand and just fill in any of those gaps we had a problem we saw figured that shit out ourselves turn on my pain in the wealth turn on my pain in the wealth shit in the process of this you might have shifted your wig a little bit so you want to select your wig layer 
turn the opacity back down and go and go in and remove the excess hair that's in your face or in any other places you don't want so once that's done you should be done and that is how to edit your png wigs guys if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos leave in the comment section any more video ideas you want me to do thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye